I sat on the swing outside my grandparents' house and learned to count by the birds that were on the power lines. When there got to be too many to count or I didn't know which number came next, we would wish upon the cars that went by. Out of the next four cars, which one do you pick? The next blue car, that will be yours when you're older. Sometimes I would recognize a car. It would look like one of the matchbox ones my brother and I played with on the stairs. That is, when we got old enough to go past the red tie on the railing. My grandparents lived in central Illinois on a highway where it's only corn and bean fields for miles. They didn't have cell service or Wi-Fi, but they had a hot spot of games. We'd sit around that big oval table centered right under the ceiling fan, just how Grandma liked it to be, and played cards for hours. We were all fluent in card games, Euchre, Crazy Eight, Spoons, but thanks to Great Grandma Weber, we all knew how to play Rummy best. Because frankly, that's all she remembered how to do. We would take two cars to go visit Great Grandma Weber every once in a while. My brother, my two cousins, and I would cram in the back seat and get buckled up for the hour drive. It was 50 miles of ups and downs. My cousins and I would pretend we were on a roller coaster. This never got old, until great-grandma got old, and there was a last time we traveled up and down those roads. Their yard was some kind of rural playground, half imaginary and the other half literal, complete with an old red barn, a shed with a four-wheeler in it, a burning pile, and a rock pile, scooters and bikes from when my mom was a kid to the last rummage sale my grandma went to. When we got tired of playing with material things, we made up our own games. We played survival. We'd run through the empty cornfields, scavenging to find the last ears of corn before winter. My cousins and I didn't have pets, so we made up the dog club. We had imaginary dogs, although they seemed real to us. We'd go to the local pet shop and slap our five dollars from Grandma on the counter as we'd buy treats and toys for Rex and Princess. My favorite activities to do outside were see how deep you can dig a hole with grandma's metal serving spoon and let's take corn off the husk and spread it across the yard for squirrels. This kept us entertained for hours. When we grew up a little more, we started playing kick the can with the coyotes. You could hear my cousin howling with them and the empty cans crashing to the ground. Ever since we moved up to St. Charles, it was tradition to spend a week at Grandma's house over the summer. Traditions. We have a lot of those. We always have a brunch at Grandma's, but before we eat, we circle the table and say grace. Waking up for 8 a.m. Mass. Everyone in the family getting a puppy calendar for Christmas. Oh, I wonder what it is this year. Probably a record. It was always a calendar. Grandma telling jokes, I knew them all. What animal jumps higher than a house? All of them, houses can't jump. Grandpa would spin his ring on the table, we'd be mesmerized by the shiny gold. Life was great at Grandma and Grandpa's house. There were always blue cars, blue skies. Not much has changed, except now I can count higher. <laughs>